Hello, teacher Jackie here, wanting to just say, where did everyone go? You know, <clears throat> we all kind of joined this VIP kid uh, thing for various reasons. Most of it is the bottom line, money. <laughs> um, of course, we all have other various reasons and purposes. Um, and I just want to know what happened to everyone. I know there was that thing. And we'll talk about that in a second. Real quick, my name is Jackie, and I have been a VIP kid teacher since September 2018. I have previously not ever taught English and things. So I went through a lot of TESOL training, certification, and just a lot of the VIP kid training. Oh, my goodness. I loved the workshops back in the day. So anyway, that's who I am and why I'm here. So <laughs> we know what happened. It was around 2019, 2020, when the Ministry of Education changed a lot of the regulations, and therefore we all kind of got stopped. There were some that were blessed to get adult classes right away, and so they really never saw a difference, uh, too much of a difference. They saw some, and then some got global, and some got more. Myself, I did not teach for pretty much a year and four months. So it wasn't until February, let's see, November 2020, one, I think, 2020, I'm so confused now, 2020 was my last classes, like that first week. And then 2021 to, f no, I guess it was 21. I am so sorry, you guys. You'll correct me. Comment below. Oh my goodness. I am confused. But long story short, I didn't teach for a year and four months. In February, the very end of February 2023, I got my first booking. Because in January 2023, somehow, some way, everyone's like, it's back. I don't know what happened. We don't go there. We're not going to talk about that in this video. This video is mainly our community, though. I'm really, really bummed that a lot of people jump ship early. But really, for a lot of people, to do something for a year or two is a long time. <laughs> Some of us older people, probably, a year or two is just barely getting started. And by your third year, you're kind of getting it down pat, and you really know what you're doing. And by fourth year, you're, again, uh, just doing your own thing. So for me, I felt like I was still getting started and just getting my groove when it all got stopped. I was always hopeful. I have always felt very good about VIP Kid as a company. Now, do I agree with some of the things they do or, or you know, many other things? In contrast to other companies, yes, they rock and they still rock and they're still here. I did in the summer of 21. That's so that's what it would have been. It would have been 21, October 21, November 21. So that summer, I jumped on the ship of three other companies because I was like, oh no, this is coming up. And plus, my bookings had gone down. And I normally got booked all the time. So I had fun, not really, but kind of juggling three to four companies at once. My calendar was color coded. I won't mention those companies, but some of my calendar was red and blue and green and black and purple and yellow and of course, orange and white. So my calendar was very colorful and I was switching on and off of all these different platforms, enjoying myself. A couple of the companies, I was very challenged. The other company that was very similar to VIP Kid, a little more interactive, had a blast. I did also kind of fade away from the community as far as posting on the Facebook official group and commenting or watching all of the other YouTube channels and videos because we were all enjoying our own um, journeys, entrepreneurships, and so on. But I will say now that I've gone back, I actually reached out to someone who um, made an amazing tool for our industry and for our community and said, hey, where are you? I want to send your link. I want to help you with uh, income and such. And that person's like, I'm done. Kind of uh, really is everything back? I'm like, yeah, everything's back. I'm booked again and just feel like we're back to normal. And they were like, no, I'm good. And others have had videos that said, I'm done. I'm gone. I've moved on. And that's fine, actually. I get it. But I guess I just... 
like people and friends. They don't have to be with this company in order for me to be, um, I guess they're friends, but it's just, it's, you know, change happens. I get it, but it is kind of sad sometimes. So hopefully if you're VIP kid old school, um, AKA like 2018, of course, a friend of mine started with them five years, like 2013. Um, I think she done with them as well. But anyway, um, I just, I don't know. It's been a unique journey. I know when she told me about them, I was like teaching English online in China. Like that's not my thing. And then in 2017, 18, I was like, yeah, I heard about it more. I wanted to do it. I need the side cash for some bills, things that came up unexpected. And it has been an absolute blessing. Actually, while I was out the year and four months, I was blessed with some other resources. But as it came back, I lost those resources. So it's actually balanced itself out. And currently, I need a lot of resources, money. And um, it's just been a huge, huge blessing. So if you are like, what are you talking about? I'm new. I was curious about VIP Kid and I'm watching your video message me. There's still a referral link. I honestly do not know the hiring procedures right now, but I could research real quick and help you get on board if that's possible. Otherwise, to you old schoolers that still may have a contract or just not sure if you should re-sign and things like that, message me too, and I will tell you my experience or my tips and tricks and uh, so forth. I'm going to do a few more videos because there have been some other things I learned, and I am so excited. I um, was formerly from a situation where I was desperate. I'm like, I'll do whatever. I'll take every certification. I'll do whatever is needed, and I will work those crazy hours and so on and so forth, yada, yada, yada. But now, I feel more empowered. I feel more um, part of the team that they need certain things and I need certain things and we're meeting in the middle and it's good. So I'm gonna make some videos about that. But otherwise, I won't say the names, but there are just definitely some people in VIP Kid back in 2018, 19 that were key to my success and continue success. And I just really, really miss you very much. So if you're watching, you're missed. And I know we have to move on. We have families, we have lives. Some of you are building homes. Some of you are moving between states. Some of you have uh, just new seasons that have come up, new industries and new career paths. And I commend you and I applaud you. And I think it's great, but I also miss you <laughs> very, very much. So um, anyway, those of us who are still here, connect with me. I don't know who's around anymore. I really feel a little bit lost. I will say this out, my last thing on this video. I am part of the VIP Kid weight loss group on Facebook. I have done several rounds of contests with them and most of them didn't do very well. But this year I did very, very well of encouragement. We don't really compete against each other. You compete against yourself, um, your own start weight and then your end weight and then your own journey. There is no push a product. There's no um, really nothing. Sometimes you're wondering if people are reading any of your posts, but we posted our weights weekly. I mean, I was embarrassed to post my humongous numbers, but no one's really tracking it or caring because we're all in our own <laughs> world. But the support was definitely amazing and has been amazing. So if you would like to do that, check it out. Otherwise, again, Hey, who's here? Who is still here? Comment below, like, share, follow, and um, let's continue to be a community that's supportive uh, as, um, you know, more changes are going to probably be coming up. But again, I, I never was going to leave and I'm still here and I still wear my orange shirt and I don't have my cup with me because I'm traveling. I did bring a few of my, my stick props. You guys, these are from the beginning. Like these are old school. I did have to make a new teacher sign. So, um, my five-star teacher, but I also encourage them to give me five apples. My other ones are still at home. I have my original sunshine that I used. I do have these stars that I bought from a teacher store and the emojis, things like that. But I have videos on stick it to me or stick it, stick it, stick it. I don't know. <laughs> Everything's on popsicle sticks, but they are the best. They still work. They still work. All right, guys. I just, I'm glad to be here. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.